Patricia. Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor. Oh, I miss you. All you boys. I miss you too. I, I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, yeah, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Alright guys, welcome back. This is Subifly. So we're going to go ahead and start to another mission here um, right after Bury the Hatchet. Um, I think it's got to finish some of the stories here before moving on to the main storyline. So here we go. Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. The boost, homie. What is this? You go? this is like an old Corvette. Problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. Old Ferrari. So think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Be careful. Line it up on the truck. My favorite gang. Look at those scars, man. Hands happy, then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Yeah, look at that car at the top. I want that car. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You did I'm gonna get to that blimp there one day. Uh, rumor and like normal say, mission or I'm like free roam. Alright, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. It's a long drive. 
Seven miles. Holy shit. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He like retired from from creeping. From everything. That's funny because like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else. Fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I... Got to LS. I was, I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that I was reading the story. For the most part. But the Michael fucked. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen. When actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. That's crazy, man. So Franklin doesn't Lonely know right now. Road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do. What the fuck? That car is just trying to run me over. On these rides. Sure. It's yeah, fucking it's dreaming. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real say. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little bitch, ain't you? We 
Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Man. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running a small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of... Oh, shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. Wait, am I getting what pulled over? What the fuck? On the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit. I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. Holy fuck, dude. Alright, I gotta keep it steady. And it doesn't help when it's like windy roads. Let's just drive like race cars then. <laughs> keep it straight. Popping their tires, popping them tires. Right. Bitch. Oh, fuck. Wait. No way. No way. Don't tell me I gotta start all the way in the back. From the beginning? Oh my god. Dude, drive, come on. Oh, there you go. That's probably the best way. Jumps and spikes. Yep. You got in front of me? You're being silly. Dumb fucker. There you go. There you go. I might just continue to drop this thing. Yeah, unlimited. That's it. One star. 
There you go. Mr. Clinton, where are you? We're coming up to GO8. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break-in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. We're taking a rise to the truck stop at Procopio. Roger that. Dang, this thing's gonna be driving so slow. And do some fun here. Ha <laughs> Do you think if I do a 360, do you think I can still catch up? Oh, I guess not. Oh, please don't. <laughs> Failed mission. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> Wait, there's another one. There's gonna flatten this guy's tire. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, flatten that tire too. Look at those cars, man. I wish I could take one of those cars with me. Oops. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where's Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. So he got robbed? Where, where, where'd the other two go? Oh my god. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, actually, before I start in the next one. What I think what I'm going to do is. Um, yeah, I'm way out there. Is do my last mission. It's the assassination. I think that's where the last one is before the story pops back up again so again i'll see you guys in the next one and i'll post the other video up once this one's up in the running franklin what's happening lester hey look you seen michael man the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment dog huh um let's see his phone is offline his credit cards aren't active this is aberrant behavior hmm last usage is for a flight to north yankton there, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dog? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? 